Okay, we're going to talk about very quickly how does I find the x and y intercept from a graph. So x and y intercepts are pretty simple. An x intercept is wherever your function passes through the x axis, and the y intercept is wherever your function passes through the y axis. So I have a function drawn, and my function is a linear function. So there's a couple things we need to talk about. There are specific types of lines. There are lines that have um, slants to them, like this one has a slant and it's called that slope. There are vertical lines and there are horizontal lines. So we're going to talk about what are the x and y intercepts of all three types of lines. Any line that is not horizontal, meaning goes straight across, and any line that is not vertical will always have an x and a y intercept. So this particular function, we're just going to look at this one. So all I literally have to do to find out the x and y intercept is go look at the graph and go, okay, where is my function crossing the x-axis? Well, the x-axis is the horizontal axis. So I come here and I go, okay, what is the coordinate of that point right there? And it just so happens to be that the x-intercept of this graph is going to be negative 3, 0. Okay, so that's the coordinates of it. So if I want to find the y-intercept, so again, I come over here and I go, okay, what is the that point that I have circled? Well, the y-intercept then. Okay, so if I come up here and put y-intercept, the y-intercept is what's the coordinates? Well, it's 0, 2. So it does require some knowledge of, you know, how to plot points, but that's about it. So that's how you find the x and y-intercept from a graph. You literally just go to the coordinate of where it crosses and list it. So let's talk about those parallel or those horizontal and vertical lines. So let me draw up a new graph here. So, so the first one I'm going to talk about is a vertical line. And I'm not even going to label this axis because it's actually going to be irrelevant. So here we go. I'm going to draw a vertical line. So my vertical line, here it comes. So the best I could draw a vertical line very quickly. So what I want you to note is that while this isn't perfect, what I want you to note is that this line never crosses through this axis, okay? But the vertical line does cross through the x-axis, so there is an x-intercept. And in this case, the x-intercept of this vertical line happens to be x equaling, okay? So my x-intercept is at the coordinate pair of 2, 0. So when I take a look at this, but what I want you to note is that this is a vertical line, which means it's going to be parallel to the y-axis. Well, things that are parallel mean that they never intersect. So therefore, if my parallel lines never intersect, I can never have a y-intercept. So all I can say for a vertical line is, is that the y-intercept, I'm going to put does not exist. So it's a D, an N, and an E. So capital D, capital N, and capital E stands for does not exist because there isn't one and there never will be because it's parallel to the y-axis. Same idea. So same idea now when I talk about a horizontal line. Okay. So for a horizontal line, what I want you to note here is that the horizontal line will cross through the y-axis but it's parallel to the x-axis. So in this case, the y-intercept occurs at the coordinate pair right here. So that coordinate pair is, negative, uh, is 0, negative 1. Okay, so there is a y-intercept, but when you take a look at this x-intercept, again, it's D and E, and it's because a horizontal line is always parallel to the x-axis. So that's how you determine your x and y-intercepts from a graph, and just remember that sometimes you may not have an, an X or a Y depending on what, what kind of line you have drawn. But again, unless it's vertical or um, a horizontal line, there will always be an X and a Y coordinate uh, intercept. Thank you, and I hope that helps.